What up, what up? Wimbush here. And you know, I'm always trying to be the first one to show you guys the dopest tech. So let me introduce you to the Loom Pad 2, the world's first AI powered 3D holographic tablet. And the reason that this is AI powered is important for any artist out there, whether you're a 2D artist or a 3D artist with no type of technical background in stereoscopic rendering at all, you can actually take any of your videos or your 2D assets and you can make them into 3D holographic displays right here to be viewed on this tablet. And with the display being a 2516 by 1600, you can guarantee everything that you see on here is gonna be crystal clear. And with the screen size of 12.4 inches, this thing is extremely large enough where you can see everything in full detail. So let me just jump right into it and show you guys the tablet and show you a perfect example of how I took one of my 2D videos and converted it into 3D. This is the Loom Pad 2, as you can see on my display. I'm gonna click right here where it says lay a player. And this is gonna be some stuff that came with the Loom Pad. And then I have some stuff that I actually put on here myself so i'm going to start off with this video that i have that I created inside of cinema 4d and unreal engine now this is a spaceship that's flying through an asteroid belt this is not built with stereoscopic whatsoever this is just a plain 2d video that you would play on any 2d device right but if i come down here to the lower left hand corner you can actually see we have a display that says 3d and 2d and right now it's in 2d but if i click on 3d it's going to say convert video to light field and now you can actually see that we have some depth to it. Now I notice it's going to be hard to see inside the video here. This is one of those things that you really need to see in person. But if you look at the top of the loom pad, there's actually two cameras up here and that's for actually tracking your head. So as I'm moving left and right, you can actually see the video is starting to parallax with my head here and we get a really good sense of depth here. So what makes the Loom Pad 2 really advanced is it has these two cameras at top and these are actually gonna be doing face tracking. Now, the reason that this is important because for you, the individual user is actually gonna track your face. So if you're moving left and right, it's actually gonna parallax the screen according to your hip movements. Now you can see this is a 2D image. We have my dog here in the front. There's some foliage right there behind them. And then we have the hiking trail over there on the right hand side as well. And we have some good depth of field in there. Now, if I come down here again, and in the lower left hand corner, click on 3D, it's actually gonna convert it. And now we can see we're getting a lot of really good depth of field in here. Everything is just gonna be parallax into my head. And the way that the loom pad actually works, it's gonna take any type of 2D image or movie, and it's actually extrapolating the depth data as you can see right here inside the video. So even as the slider is going left and right, you can see how it's actually adding the parallax with the depth of field and everything in there. Like you can see the matrix movie right there. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see the depth map that the loom pad is actually pulling out in real time here, which is absolutely crazy. So any type of 2D image, video, we're able to convert it into stereoscopic 3D as it's pulling out the depth map here. Now one of the coolest things in the Loom Pad 2 is the capability to make actual zoom calls through your tablet with a holographic effect to it. And so we're gonna use Leia Chat. I'm gonna call out my friend Marlon over there at Leia, and we're actually gonna demonstrate how this works. And so this is all powered by Zoom. So what it's gonna do is basically do a face-to-face -face Zoom call, but it's gonna add that extra depth to it so if you're talking to somebody on the other end you can hold objects up to the camera and you can actually hold it close to the camera and you're going to get that sense of depth in there and it really works really really well like i said if you see this at like any trade show or any display or anything definitely check it out i've seen it at a couple of trade shows before i even had my own hair and i was just blown away at the sense of depth that you can actually portray in here and so again this is going to be hard to show in video but you can actually see it here as we're actually holding items up to the camera. He's holding up items. I can see the depth with his. You can actually see yourself up in the upper right hand corner as well. And that's where it's really going to be crystal clear. But this is really fun and this is really cool. Like I know a lot of people over the pandemic, they were using like AR filters and stuff on Zoom calls. This is definitely going to take it to the next level and add that extra wow factor for your next Zoom call. And so another cool thing about the Loom Pad is how we can actually do 3D holographic gaming right here on the system. So on my trusty Xbox controller, I'm gonna hook this directly into my Loom Pad and we're gonna play a game on here called Dungeon that comes shipped on the Loom Pad. All right, so I'm actually, you can do it through Bluetooth, but I'm just gonna hook it up with USB directly. You can see it's glowing. That means it's connected to the system and everything. So I'm actually gonna put my head up to it. So it's starting to catch the parallaxing with the head tracking. And as you can see, as I'm moving my head around, you can see the loom pad is actually tracking my head, which is cool. All right, so I came up to a part of the dungeon that is clear. Now watch me move my head. And you can actually see in the game that the dungeon is going to parallax with my head. 
Now one of the dopest things about the Loom Pad 2 is actually the first device that's going to be shipping with a standalone version of Stable Diffusion. And for those that don't know, Stable Diffusion is a text to image generator in which you put in your text prompt and then it will make an image based off your text prompt. So let's test it out inside the Loom Pad. So what I'm going to do is come down and look for Leia Dream. So what you see down here is it says see your dream in 3D and you can actually type in your text prompt down here in the lower left hand corner. But first, I'm going to go on the right hand side here. I'm going to leave my image width and height at default. Dreams per image. I'm just going to leave it at one for right now. And then diffusion steps, maybe take this a little bit higher just to see what we get. Quality of image and then stable diffusion. I'm going to use version 2.0 right here. But you also have other versions of stable diffusion in here. And you also have stable end paint as well. But I'm going to stick with stable diffusion. And then down here where you type in your text prompt. This is actually really dope because you can see right here in the top right hand corner, we actually have a microphone. So instead of typing it in, we can actually just say it right into the loom pad and we don't have to type anything in at all. So let's say, click on the microphone, pug walking on the moon, concept art, matte painting, HQ, 4K. All right, and I hit the microphone there. And as you can see, it says it right there, pug walking on the moon, concept art, matte painting, HQ, and I'm actually gonna put some commas in here. So, pug walking on the moon, I'm gonna put a comma, concept art, put a comma in here as well, and 4K, and let's hit dream and see what it comes up with. <laughs> and there you have it, so we have a pug, it looks like some type of alien planet, and I mean, it did a pretty good job. Like, this is what it actually looks like on the loom pad right there, so you can see no games, no gimmicks. This happened all within the Dream app here on the Loom Pad 2 that's ran by Stable Diffusion. And this is pretty dope. So what you can actually do is hold down on it. And now we can actually see it in stereoscopic 3D. You can see 3D focus. You can slide this up and down. You can slide the depth up and down. So if I want it to be just completely flat, just like that. And then let me actually add a little bit more depth in there. You can hit animate it. So it's actually doing like the parallaxing by itself within the loom pad there, which is really cool. Let me see if we can catch this on camera here. So I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that there, but this is really cool. And you can save your images right on here just so you can show them off to different people. And yeah, this is a pretty cool function in here, which is quickly evolving for anybody that's been following AI. I mean, this stuff is moving at a rapid pace, so can't wait to see what happens next with this. Another cool thing is how we can actually bring in 3D objects into the loom pad and view it right here on the viewer and we can actually have it be fully interactive. So down here, I'm gonna click on layer viewer. And now you can see we have some samples that are already inside of here. And also if you have stuff uploaded to Sketchfab, you can actually import your stuff from Sketchfab as well. But let me just click on one of these models here, maybe this New Bounce sneaker here. And now you can see we have the sneaker here and it's all fully interactive and it's all with the holographic effect. Like right now, what I'm seeing, it looks like the sneaker is actually floating far away from the background there, which is really cool. And we can actually just spin it around, look inside of it. And this photo scan looks really good on this display. So let me actually fall back. Let me look at another one here, maybe the sea turtle. And this one is actually moving with the animation which is cool that this is all running in real time. So I can pull this up, pull it away, just spin it around. And let's say that we don't wanna see that much of a holographic effect. You can actually come over here on the left-hand side and you can slide it down. And now we just see it in 2D, but if you wanna add extra depth to it, you can actually slide it all the way up there on the left-hand side. And now we're getting a full effect of it. And you can always come over here on the right-hand side too, click 2D, and this is just gonna be a straight up 2D effect or click on the layer symbol right there to get the holographic effect. But this is cool how we can bring in static 3D objects or even animated 3D objects and have it all play in here in real time. Now, another neat thing on this device, if you're watching like Vimeo or YouTube, you can actually have any video on those services actually be converted into a holographic display. So looking at my website right here, you could come down and pick any of these videos and actually have these convert over. So let me actually just look at some of my shorts here. 
I did this cool one with Methamin where I did this motion comic right here. So you can see, this is just playing through normally on YouTube as we would have it. But if I come over here and click the share button, you can actually see down in the lower right hand corner, it says layer tube. So if I click on this, this is actually going to convert it from a 2D video over to a 3D video. Just give us a second to calculate everything. And there we go. Now we actually have the holographic effect playing on my YouTube video right here on the loom pad, which is really cool. So again, it's going to do the face parallaxing and everything, but it actually converted this 2D video over to 3D on something that's not even downloaded on the loom pad. Like this is all coming straight from YouTube, which is really cool. And the loom pad too actually has its own curated gallery as well. So if I come down here to where it says layer tube, this is gonna open up a curated gallery of stuff that was already pre-curated by Leia. So this is gonna be some of the best of the best stuff that was actually shot for stereoscopic 3D. So let me just click on this one right here. Since it's the first one, it's gonna show us this video and it's gonna look absolutely brilliant. So anything that you've ever watched in a movie theater, like Avatar 3D is probably the best example. How they shot that movie was actually shot in stereoscopic 3D, and that's how you get that enhanced effect. So anything that was actually shot like that and it's brought onto the loom pad, if you watch it, you're going to get that same effect as if you were in like an IMAX theater. You don't have to be a professional to shoot those stereoscopic videos. Actually on the loom pad here, we actually have a camera up here in the top left hand corner. This is a full stereoscopic camera with 5K per lens. And actually, this is brand spanking new. You can see I still had the plastic on it. So let me actually rip this off like so. There we go. Brand new. So if I shoot anything on this, it's going to be crystal clear. You can shoot your own stereoscopic photos. You can shoot your own stereoscopic movies and then watch them right back here on the loom pad. So the next James Cameron could be you out there shooting your own avatar with this loom pad right here. But that's going to do it for my review of the loom pad. This is something that I can highly recommend for any tech kid like myself that really wants to see the next step in the evolution of holographic displays. And the cool thing is this thing is ready for ordering today. So if you just click on the link down below, you can pre-order it right now today and get it as soon as it's available. So until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.